The match function finds the relative position of an item in a list. Match can find exact matches or approximate matches. In this video, we'll look at how to use match to find an exact match. The match function takes three arguments. The lookup value, which is the value you're looking up, the lookup array, which is the list to look in, and match type, which specifies exact or approximate matching. In this example, we'll use match to find exact matches, so we'll be using zero for match type. In column E, I have a list of numbers from one to nine. I've already created a named range called numbers that refers to this list. In cell C7, I'll enter the match formula. For lookup value, I'll use C6, so we can easily change it later. For lookup array, I'll use numbers. And for match type, I'll use zero to indicate exact match. When I enter the formula, match returns one. If I enter three as the lookup value, match returns three. Match gives us the relative position of the item in the list. Match returns three because three is the third item in the list. I can demonstrate this by moving three to another place in the list. At each new location, match gives us the relative position of three in the list. And if I resort the list, match again returns three. What if the list contains duplicates? In that case, match returns the position of the first item only. What if an item doesn't exist in the list? In that case, match returns the NA error. Now, let's look at the match function with text. Here we have a named range called fruit. In the table to the left, I have some lookup values already entered. In column C, I'll enter the match function and point to the lookup values. For all formulas, I'm using zero for match type for exact matching. Now you can see a few other features of the match function. First, notice that match is not case sensitive. Match returns two for pairs, regardless of the case. Next, like we saw with numbers, when there are duplicates in the list, match will return the position of the first item. Finally, note that match supports wildcards when the match type is zero. The asterisk is a placeholder for one or more characters. So, BAN plus an asterisk returns 10, the position of bananas. We can get the position of grapes with asterisk plus PES. A question mark is a wildcard for any one character. So four question marks gives us the position of kiwi, the only fruit with four characters. And two question marks plus MES gives us a position of limes. As we saw earlier, match returns NA if no match is found.